Stacy Burke, and it's not a Monday, it is a Friday. Today is the 19th of October, and this is not my typical grocery haul, because you're like, well, wait a minute, it's not a Monday, what is this? Do you get an extra one? Yep, there's an extra grocery haul, haul, because I figured, I didn't really have to do this, but I figured, you know, why not? Tonight, my friend um, is having mafia night, like an Italian night. Because one of our friends is leaving um, to go to Texas. He's moving away. And so she wanted Italian night. So we all are in charge of what to bring for Italian night tonight. Later on tonight. I don't know what I'm going to wear yet. But anyway, I thought I would show you. I spent $45 at the grocery store. I bought things for Italian night that I was responsible for. Because everyone's responsible for certain things. Uh, and, um, plus I got a few things since I was there that I grabbed that I needed. And there's a few things I got before, a couple of things I got on the grocery haul that I filmed this Monday. I don't know when I'm going to put this up, so I might put this up after Monday, which is the 22nd, and then it all makes sense. Or this might go up before and you're like, oh, you know, like, because there's some things I bought on Monday. So, that all said and done. Let me just show you a few things that I had to get. Last Monday, spoiler alert in case you're watching this before, I was in charge of wine. Well, I figured I was going to get some Chianti wine. So I got this wicker bottle. Now, this is not what I got right now. This is not the 40 to the 45. This is part of the grocery haul that I, I did last Monday. So that's part of that grocery haul. I think this was like 12 bucks. Uh, but it's just this really good. Um, oh, sorry for the glare. It's just... Hopefully that when the time changes uh, next month, it, there'll be different times and it won't be so glary. But this is this Bellagio Chianti. I don't know if you can see that. But I just wanted to get the authentic um, Italian Chianti in the wicker bottle that you see it when you go to Italian restaurants. Because I figured, you know, we could you reuse it and put a, a candle in it and all that kind of stuff. Another thing I was in charge of that lately it's been at Rite Aid. But they've been sold out. You know, and if you're from New York, I'm not from New York. My friend is. They have rainbow cookies, which is basically like it's chocolate. It has like basically it's like a red, white, like not red, white, blue. I'm sorry, like rainbow color cake with a raspberry um, inside, and it's it's kind of like an almond paste. Well, they were out of it at Rite Aid. Like, I know, I was going to be ghetto, get a bunch of, like, little packets for Rite Aid for Italian night. But we don't really have Italian bakeries that make it. That's our only resource. But then I thought, well, Amazon, my best friend Amazon. Sure enough, for, like, $12, I believe, I got a 12 count of these cake bites. And sorry for the glare. They're just Italian rainbow cookies. Can you see that? You can even Google it. And it's like a 12-pack, and I already had one. It's okay, because look, it's these cookies. And inside, they're cut up into four pieces, four bite-sized pieces, which is one bite's enough for me. Sometimes two bites. I never finish the whole package. In fact, I have some. Let me see. I have one that's open. Hold on. Because I... I I couldn't finish it. I didn't want the whole thing. Um, but I have one open. I have a Ziploc. And I'll show you what it looks like inside. Ooh. Okay. It comes like in this little thing. I have two. Okay, I guess it's three. But it, isn't that cute? It's rainbow cookies. And so, there you go. And I, I, they're really good. Um, these this, this cake fit manufacturer, if you look at it, Google it. They're from New York. And they have like three flavors I know of. They have the rainbow cookie, which is very popular because here in California we don't have them. And then, oh, uh, it's like an almond uh, cake, actually. And then my favorite is the birthday cake. I don't have any of those left, but those are really good. It's white cake. It's rainbow, of course. And um, it's, it tastes like birthday cake. It's so good. And then they're ingenious because I love it because sometimes you feel like having fresh cake, but you don't want a whole cake. You don't want to buy a whole cake. You don't want to bake a whole cake. Cake pops are okay, but, you know, you have to go out and get them. This is great because they taste fresh. They're packaged really nice. So, I got, so that's what I'm bringing to the party. I got the rainbow cookies for Italian night. 
and I got the Chianti wine, so I already bought that ahead of time. Now, okay, I have a spoiler alert because there's things. I was in charge of uh, also to bring the Caprese salad. Is that how you say it? Caprese salad? That's with the basil, the fresh um, a soft mozzarella, and the tomatoes, and you usually put balsamic vinaigrette. And uh, they told me, just go to the salad bar. There's some in the salad bar. Well, I grabbed what was left in the salad bar. It, it looks kind of anorexic. I don't know. It has also red onion in it. I don't know. I, I put some lettuce on the bottom just because it looks so anorexic. Just so, because that's all that's left. And it has more tomatoes than mozzarella. It has some basil, not too much. And it has like red onion. And the tomatoes look a little, mm, and this, I took whatever they had. And I'm like, ugh, for a party, this looks kind of meh. So I'm like, just in case, I want to get some backup. I never made Caprese salad. I hope I did this right. But let me show you what I got for backup in case we need more, that we need to make it on the fly. I got fresh basil, which I think is awesome. It smells good. It's in a little planner. So it's 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 live, fresh basil. If we don't need it, I got a nice centerpiece. Um, it was only like $2.99. And so I like basil. Whenever I make pasta, I like to throw it in there. I love basil. I love the smell of it. And I think it also detracts flies or something. I read something. If you put fresh basil somewhere, it detracts. Like I don't know if it's a mosquito or some kind of fly or fleas. I don't know. But whatever. I got a nice centerpiece if we don't need it. But I got some basil. Um, and then... Stay, stay up, stay up upright, because I don't want to stay upright. I don't want to ruin that. Okay. Then, I know I needed some mozzarella. I wanted to get a big thing of mozzarella, but uh, just in case, this was like $6. Not bad, $5.99. But these are little balls of mozzarella. Can you see that? I am so sorry for the glare. I am so sorry. But it's mozzarella, and they're the little balls. They're not the big ball. It's little tiny balls, but I thought... That's good. Instead of cutting it up, I could just we could just use it. So I got that. There you go. That's better. There you go. They're just little tiny balls of mozzarella, fresh mozzarella. So I got some of that. The basil, right? Now thinking back that I got them all, I should have got the little cherry tomatoes. I should have. That way it would have been easier. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have because none of the big tomatoes were ripe enough. I got the ripest one I could find. I still don't think I'm gonna put it on the windowsill. Hopefully it'll ripe. And I got one fresh tomato. If we don't use it. I love tomatoes, so it's not going to go to waste. I'm going to put this on the windowsill to hopefully ripen by tonight. <laughs> I should have got the little cherry tomatoes. I really should have. But I don't get them because in a salad, they kind of bother me. I still have to cut up the cherry tomatoes because I hate because I have a small mouth. I hate putting the cherry tomato in there and then try to close my mouth up and then chew it. And then it squirts out and hits someone. <laughs> You hit someone with the seed of the tomato or the juice. And so, I no, I'm not really into that. So, um, but I should have got that because it had been more presentational. Presentationally. Because it would be the tiny balls of mozzarella and then the little tiny tomatoes. And then I could have chopped up some basil, right? Oh, well, whatever. I made a mistake on the tomato part. But, okay, hopefully they'll forgive me. And I have really good balsamic vinaigrette, but it's in the refrigerator because I know we're not going to need the whole thing. But if I'm going to bring my good stuff, I want backup. And so when I use it, I got backup. So I just got normal balsamic vinaigrette, just for actually vinegar, because I got this stuff. It's really, it's really good. And this is all, oh, there's not much. I'm glad I bought more. Actually, it's not that much left. This is a really good one. I don't know if you can read it. I really like it. I don't know. Maybe it's not that great. Maybe it's just normal. But um, I like it. So I might take this up because this is a better uh, vinegar. Um, but there's not much left. But oh well. I go so you don't need that much. We'll see what I do. We'll see. All right. So put that back. Put that back. All right. So in case this anorexic... Caprese salad is not that great. I got backup. I could always come up because she lives upstairs. I come down and just make a quick little salad. Another thing I was in, I know there's like, what? You're in charge of more? Yes, I was in charge of more. I was in charge of the Italian cookies 
the Chianti wine, or any wine, right? I chose Chianti, the Caprese salad, and fresh olives. And we have an olive bar here at Ralph's. And so I got, it's just, I just got one of every single olive except for the meat olives, because I don't eat meat. And there's a lot of juice in there, but it has a feta cheese, and it just has, um, has a uh, father beans, um, what's it called, butter beans, I guess, and it has like peppers, and it has garlic, and it has like artichoke hearts, and lots of olives, all different kinds of olives. So I'm in charge of the olives. So I got a bunch of olives. So I think I did good, except for the caprese salad. I should have got the cherry tomatoes. But anyway, so that's part of what I had to bring. And since I was there, there's a few other things. My, I noticed my uh, my um my roommate um used the rest of my barbecue sauce, which is not a big deal. That's why it's there to be eaten. Um, so I wanted to have backup because I always have you always have to backup because it's open it's in the refrigerator now. So I wanted backup. So I just get but it's only a dollar ninety nine. It's cheap. Can you see it's just craft sweet honey. It's just a dollar ninety nine. Not a big deal. I'm gonna put this back in here. Okay. All right. And I always look to see if these are on sale because these are addicting. I ate another one for uh, lunch today. These are perfect for at work, and that way I don't have to snack on something that's not healthy. It's a salad kit, and I'm going to probably put them in the containers how you saw me. I have plastic containers. I take them out of the bag right away so I can keep them longer. This is a chop kit. I never tried this one. This is called a pomegranate. Pomegranate. And it has uh, green cabbage, romaine lettuce, kale, carrots, red cabbage, green onions, flax seeds, pomegranate vinaigrette, and pomegranate infused cranberries. Ooh, that looks really good. That looks really good. So this, I'm already ready for next week. So my next grocery haul on Monday, I probably don't need so many of this. Because this will this will probably last me for two days. You know, two lunches, so that's two days right there at work. And then I bought another one. This is another two days, so that's four days right here. And this I've had before. This is really good. This is a sunflower crunch, and they were on sale for $1.49. Not the 99 cents that I'm used to, but I'll take it. Uh, and I did. Cabbage, romaine lettuce, kale, sunflower seeds, uh, onion something dressing. God, I hate not being able to see. I hate that. I'm sorry. I hate not able. I hate where I can't see anymore. Sweet onion citrus dressing. Okay. Uh, bacon crumbles, which thank, thank God they're in a little case that I could just throw those away. I don't eat meat. Red cabbage, green onions, and carrots. Yum. This one's really good, too. So, and that's $45. <laughs> This was very expensive for me because it's like, you know, because I got the, I got the olives and I got the stuff to make the caprese salad. So that is what I'm bringing to Italian night tonight. So I just thought I would share with you what I got. So I'm going to put all this stuff away. I got to do a lot of stuff. So just a really quick little extra grocery haul for you. And I'm wearing my VidCon shirt. I think I wore this once before. I always cut up these shirts because I wish merch people would. You know, I know, but it's really cheap to just to sell normal t-shirts. So I just cut this up like a muscle tee, cut some holes in here, cut some holes in here. And then you got to wear something underneath, and that's about it. All right. To all my six cadets, all my briquettes, I hope you have a groovy day. Until next time, peace.